Hello, welcome back to my channel and hello to all the new subscribers. Uh, welcome. Uh, this is my August favorites and some are new products, some are old products and by old I mean like I've had them for a while. I'm just like rediscovering them or like falling back in love with them. And yeah, others I've had and I just haven't really played with yet until of recently. I hope everyone had a great Labor Day weekend. I did, it was pretty busy and yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I'm just gonna like dive right into this video. I don't, I don't feel like I have a lot of products to really talk about but we'll see. I don't, I don't know yet. <laughs> Hopefully this video is not like too long. So first up is skincare and this is from Kate Somerville. It's the Clarifying Treatment Toner. I bought this in my Sephora haul. I did a video on that and I've just been loving this honestly. I think it's been working a little better than my Clinique one. It seems to keep my acne away and whatever that's existing or trying to uh, come out it like keeps in check so sometimes like recent I don't know now you can't really tell but there's like a little bump it this was like red one morning a few days ago and after putting this on throughout the day the redness was just leaving and now it's just like disappearing it hasn't grown to be like a full-blown blemish or white head or whatever it was trying to be so I've been really really enjoying this it does clarify as well like my skin is just brighter more even my pores are not as out there you know as it normally would be so this I owe I owe that to to this stuff right here it's really great I've really been enjoying this and yes I see myself using this for a long time <laughs> and not a lot of product is used really it has like this little pump thing I put my ooh, my cotton pad just press it down and the product just comes up I love it it's great good job Kate Somerville all right this is a highlighter brush this is the Luxie 522 Tappered Highlighter Brush. It's dirty, yes. I know. <laughs> but, I mean, I only use it for highlighters. This, I love. I've been a fan of my fan brushes, but for some reason, this, I like the way my highlighter applies with this brush. I love Luxie Beauty. Their brushes are amazing. I have a ton of their brushes. Some I bought on my own and some just comes in the BoxyCharm and Ipsy subscription boxes. So, um, yes, I I love them. Because of Ipsy, I received my first brush from them through Ipsy. Ever since then, I just, they're like my number one go-to brushes. It's pretty much all I use now when I apply my highlighter. I've forgotten all about my fan brushes. I don't know. I just don't gravitate towards them anymore. Uh, so it's, it's this. And speaking of highlights, I am wearing the Maybelline New York Master Chrome Highlighter. Oh my gosh. You guys, this took me forever to find. It's nowhere in stores. It's always out of stock. And... Finally, Ulta got it back in stock, so it's just like, great, I need it now and see what all the hype is about. And I can see, I can see the hype. It's bright, it's metallic, and in person, it's like um, the Dose of Colors highlighter. Uh, I believe that was my last video. It's just in person, it's so beautiful, it's smooth, it's not chunky glitter or anything like that, it's just... It's just gorgeous, honestly. Um, I can't really talk too much about it, like lasting power or anything, because this is my first time using it. But if you know me, I love my highlighters. I am obsessed with highlight. It's just, if there's one thing that needs to be on my face all the time, is highlighters. And it's like, I guess, a first impressions, and I'm loving it. Just, it's great. If you can find it, I believe Ulta still has it in stock. Get it. It's, it's worth it. Um, drugstore products, I'm... I'm kind of gravitating towards now. I did take a step back because they just, I don't know, they just never really worked for me. But they are stepping up their game, which I'm loving. So I will try to incorporate 
uh, or buy rather more drugstore products and test them out for you guys. I know not everyone just shops at Sephora or Ulta. I do. I live there but <laughs> yes. So I'll try to incorporate more drugstore products and this one is really good. It's worth it. On my lips is the Kat Von D Project Chimps liquid lipstick. Everlasting liquid lipstick. Oh my gosh. You guys. This Look how beautiful it is. This is one of my favorite, favorite reds. This is limited edition. Uh, she bought this back because the first time, I think it was last year or something, um, Sephora had it, I brought it, but then I haven't really spoken about it or anything because it wasn't available anymore. But she bought it back in stock. I believe it's only in her website though. So Kat Von catvondbeauty.com you'll be able to find this I'm not sure if 100% proceeds go to the project chimps but I know some some or all proceeds go to it she's a big activist on animal cruelty um, so I guess you can like read more about it it's not on the site so I can't really speak in depth about it but I know proceeds go into a uh, charity one of the charities uh, that she partnered up with. Lipstick, this color. Again, it's what I have on my lips. It's $20. It's the same price as all her other liquid lipsticks. And yeah, this is, it's gorgeous. I do have it lined with this Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner and the color Crimson, in case you're wondering. So they pretty they go pretty good together. This is not limited edition. You can find this. <laughs> in stores but it's a great a great lip liner so yeah that's just what I have on my lips and I'm happy I can talk about this because it is in stock I highly suggest this it's like my favorite ever it's not really a monthly favorite so but it is a favorite so I figure why not talk about it speaking of Kat Von D let me just go along with the Kat Von D theme is the blotting powder I'm not sure if I spoke about this last month in my favorites I know I spoke about it in my haul video, but yeah, I'm obsessed. I did put it on. It's just, oh my gosh, it's just smooth as my skin out. It's just amazing, amazing. I can't get enough of this. They do have different colors in case you're wondering. This is medium. I know there's a deep color and I know there is a light color. If you're oily like me, I highly suggest you you invest in this check it out this is not a setting powder or a finishing powder so don't use it right after your uh, concealer or foundation you still have to set down your foundation uh, you know with setting powder finishing powder and all that this goes on top of your setting powder and finishing powder it's just amazing amazing I can't stop talking about it I can't stop using it next up is the Kat Von D translucent setting powder this also I have been gravitating towards a lot more than my Laura Mercier. To be quite honest, I haven't really used that setting powder, the Laura Mercier one, in quite a while, ever since I I bought this. It is brightening, uh, but it's great. It's another product I noticed that every time I use it, my oils aren't uh, coming out as soon as it normally is. And I know it's this. I also put it on my face today under my eyes and my t-zone literally just the middle of my face i applied it because i always get oily in that area i kind of have combination skin now that we're going into uh the fall the fall and winter months so this is just amazing i did i don't know what i was thinking but one time i did like put it all over my face and that was a big mistake <laughs> so don't don't do that sometimes people do that but not with this powder i don't know what i was thinking i was like screw it why not go for it no i don't have any concealer on or anything like that so i just i love it it gives such a smooth finish as well it brightens and it does help to keep the oil away a lot longer so again if you're an oily skin gal like me i think you should check that out and another setting powder that I've been using is the Bella PA, Bella Pierre PA. I received this in my Ipsy, I think two months ago, I'm not sure, but it's not like a huge favorite of mine. I still prefer my Kat Von D when it comes to keeping oil away, but this is, 
I love the finish of this as well and I love that it's a banana powder you know because the color it's not brightening or anything it's just smooth so I just use this when I know I'm not going to be out for more than 10 hours <laughs> because this does help keep the oil away just not as great or as much as the Kat Von D one but this is another great one I, I really like this you can buy it on Amazon uh, I do have a link all products that I'm talking about will be linked down below in the description box for you guys if you want to check it out but yeah this is just another one it's another great one I really like so those two I've been using depending on the type of day I'm going to have so this I've bought a while back and I've had just sitting there I just forgot that I had it I don't know why because it's a great eyeshadow palette it is the Trolls the Dreamwork Trolls eyeshadow palette uh, from Pure Cosmetics and these shadows are beautiful. I just, I guess it's because it reminds me of fall weather that I haven't really gravitated towards it. I did use this pink one during the summer. You can see some usage there. Like, during the summer, if I wanted that pink, I would just grab it up. And that's it. But now, I've been using this. It's what I have on my eyes now. This color Wisdom, it's such a pretty color as a, uh, as a base. And just to leave it. That's all I is what I have all over my lids. It's just beautiful. It's a really nice uh muted natural looking eyeshadow. If you're in a quick like I need to go, <laughs> but I still want to look kind of put together, you can just put this all over the lids, under, and you're golden. Like it's it's just it's really good. I have a little bit of fuzzy right here in my crease. Not too much, just something to warm up uh my crease a little bit so that's what i have there i have satin and chanel now this color when you look at it in a pan it just looks like it just looks white you can tell it's a a shade shifter kind of shadow but then it goes on like a purplish pink it's what i have right up here under the arch of my brows just to give it a little, I don't know, a little pop. I just wanted to use it. So here's, oh, well it's kind of purple. I don't know. But you see it here. <laughs> it's so pretty. And it's definitely, definitely not the color you see with your naked eye. And then I have this color snack pack in the middle of my eyes. Both my top and bottom lid and my inner corner because it's another pretty color that I love just to look oh, so pretty yeah it's just a palette that I started using again and now that it's the fall weather I just I don't know the colors are calling to me more I've really been enjoying it for my eyebrows I have on the benefit Cabral gel right I don't know if it's a gel or promade rather oh, but yeah, this isn't full size this is a deluxe sample this is another product that I've gotten a while back I just had it sitting there because I'm in love with my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pro made um, but then I started using this because I was like eh, let me give it a shot I heard great things about it and I can't stop using it so right now Ulta is having the like 21 days of beauty and this is going on for 50% off so I'm waiting for that day I can't remember which day it is uh, but you can look it up, I think, online. Or I know they sent out magazines to everyone who's in their email. I have to, I'm just, I'm going to get it. I've been using it. I've kind of forgotten about my Anastasia Beverly Hill ones because this is great. It's, I find it to be smoother than the Anastasia one. And it's what I have on my eyes. It's the color 5. And it's just, it's so smooth. It lasts all day, all night. Um... Yeah, and it's kind of softer. I don't know, like, I don't know. I just, I've been gravitating towards this. It's what I've been using more. And for the mascara, it's what I have also on my eyes. It's what I used. This is from MAC. It's the False Lashes Extreme Black. This is another sample. They now offer, like, free deluxe samples with every purchase. And I am in love with this mascara i used it for my top and bottom lashes and it seriously stretches out your lashes granted i do have my urban decay primer underneath so yeah 
man it just transforms just transforms your lashes it gives it a nice stretch i love that i can use it on both my top and bottom because i always use my smashbox full exposure mascara on my bottom lashes but this i've been gravitating towards you know because i still use my it cosmetic superhero one i'm still obsessed with that one oh my gosh but this also i've been i've been like alternating honestly but i'm loving it so i'm gonna have to get a full size of that mascara mm -hmm. yep. last item for the month of august is my urban decay all-nighter foundation oh my gosh you guys okay i do have this on my face today but i mixed it with my tarte amazonian clay foundation um only because this foundation is too dark for me i bought this in my tan days this is the shade 9 9.0 9.0 it's too dark and i've just been mixing in my foundations that's still a little too light for me i'm like in the middle stage <laughs> my normal foundations are still a little too light for me and my darker ones are just a little too dark so i have to mix them but this formula is I don't know I feel like it's my favorite formula even if I dare say this <laughs> I think I like I think I like this formula a little better than the the Estee Lauder foundation the double wear foundation I know I don't I just I just do the Estee Lauder I still wear it's great it lasts it's just it's still my favorite foundation well a favorite but this stuff it's like in competition and I say that because the formula this doesn't go on as cakey as the Estee Lauder does um, I don't know like for me I, I don't know if it's my skin type I, I just I don't know I don't know but it's just it's it seems to go on pretty cakey you know it does settle down but it takes a while and not all products go well on top of that foundation but for this one a lot more of my products go well so and I just hate having to remember oh which product didn't work out for that foundation or you know it's just no it's too much for me <laughs> so sometimes I look a little crazy because I just no I don't I can't really remember exactly what works with what but I know with this foundation pretty much all my products so far works I love it lasts all night it keeps the oils at bay and even when my oils do come out it doesn't separate it still holds it well and it doesn't really look like oil it just gives me like a slight dewiness to my face but of course when that happens i use my kat von d blotting powder and then i'm set this is amazing i highly recommend it if you're oily or combination even if you're not i don't know because i've heard kathleen lights talk about this as well and she's uh she has dry skin and she loves this because of the pores like it's just your face looks amazing I don't know this is yeah this is great so I'm gonna have like a couple of these in different colors because I need it I need it on my face I think that's it that is my favorites for the month of August thank you guys so much for watching even if you're not subscribed and you're watching this thank you so much for checking this video out I do hope you hit the subscribe button and uh, hang out with me some more I hope you guys have a great week ahead and I will see you in my next video bye